right, so I'm here in the main campus, the main quad at San Diego State, and I want to talk about the WPA, the Works Progress Administration, for just a, a few minutes. As you'll find out in the lecture and in Foner's textbook, the WPA was a central piece of Roosevelt's second New Deal. It was a project uh, that was designed to construct heavy infrastructure projects all across the United States. The WPA lasted from 1935 until 1943 uh, in the middle of World War II, and during those eight years of its operation, it was responsible for the construction of something like uh, 600,000 miles of roads, 100,000 public buildings in the United States, 100,000 uh, bridges across the country, dams, lock systems, colleges, airports, uh, and many, many other structures that still exist in, uh, in the United States today. They had a major impact on the landscape of the United States in their time. They had a major impact on the economy of the United States for decades to follow because they a constructed uh, pieces of infrastructure that continue to, to function uh, and to promote economic growth, uh, or in this case, learning. San Diego State uh, was constructed largely by the WPA uh, in the middle part of the 1930s, and all of the buildings that we can see here represent the WPA constructed landscape uh, of, of San Diego State. This is just the center part of the campus, and I'm going to go to a couple of other places to show you just some other features of the WPA's impact on a place like San Diego State, just so that you can see uh, what the WPA looked like on the ground. Uh, we read about it in the book, uh, we hear about it in the lecture, but it's a lot of fun, I think, to see the WPA as it still exists, uh, its impact still exists in society today. So, come with me. We're inside of the Hardy Tower, which is that tall Spanish-style uh, tower that you could see behind me in the, in the last shot. I often teach in this room right here. What I love about this building is uh, the decoration that the WPA workers and architects and artists left on the inside of the building, as well as the beautiful architecture that's on the outside. And so, if you could see what I can see, uh, I think you would understand what I like so much about this building and the lecture halls that are here. Another feature to notice about the WPA landscape at San Diego State is its human scale. Unlike the giant dam projects that the WPA built that can be seen from space, this one is really designed to be used every day by people, and it really works. One of the cool features, I think, of a lot of the WPA buildings all across the country uh, is the way that the, the architects usually were hired locally. Uh, and they tried to mimic or to recreate what were very popular architectural styles locally. And so a lot of the WP arch architecture in many parts of the United States um, reflects kind of the organic architectural traditions or historic ar architectural traditions of those, of those places. And so here at San Diego State, uh, the architects were trying to recreate a kind of Spanish, uh, an imagined Spanish um, uh, kind of architecture, Spanish Mission Revival architecture, uh, when they constructed the buildings here for San Diego State. And that includes, you know, not just the exterior architectural styling, but the, the planning of the landscape for San Diego State as well, which has a set of courtyards, very kind of private courtyards, sheltered and shaded courtyards for the hot Southern California sun, uh, and little private courtyards with nice places to study, benches to sit on in the, in the shade, good places to wait. Uh, before giving a lecture or listening to a lecture uh, on campus. So come on, let's see another little cool spot that I like here on campus. Okay, here's another cool thing. Come with me. Check this out. Okay, so a couple of years ago, they replaced the ceiling right up here at the top of the, of the stairway. And when they took the ceiling down, this is what they found. Like WPA projects all over the country, San Diego State is decorated by artwork. These murals were painted by students enrolled in the art school. And that brings us to our final point, the employment of skilled craft workers and a fine attention to decorative detail. Like other WPA projects across the country, San Diego State is filled with decorative detail from fine woodwork, ironwork, decorative benches, stucco work, ceramic tile, and many other features. So the WPA provided jobs for the unemployed, infrastructure for the future, and beauty for the people. See? The WPA.